so much of cinematography is almost dialed in in a sense. You know, you, this is how to frame a house. This is how to frame a you know conversation two people at a table. This is how you know and. We're always searching for something that's a little bit offbeat, but then when you do it, you go, why do we need this now in terms of, is it being cued out of the script or is it something we're just doing to look cool? Wakefield uh, is a, a drama uh, set around a psychiatric institution where our lead actor, an, a psychiatric nurse, he, who seems to have a knack for solving everyone else's psychiatric problems, is also having his own breakdown. As far as an overall feel or tone to the show, we mulled over the colour palette quite a bit and we didn't want to make it or announce itself as being a little bit sad and um, full of anguish by having a completely blue Scando feel to it. However, uh, we did lean that way a little in the in the final grade. It seemed to add a certain quality, which f for me seemed to fit in really well with the the settings in the uh, the Blue Mountains where it was, you know, we were just in the shadows a little bit and it does have a blue tinge to the to the atmosphere there and so it was the natural thing to do. We then felt that the best way to show the fantasy and uh, and flashback or dream sequences was to lean into the colour a bit more. Deep greens and oranges and yellows for the, for the dancing. And it's a contrast and, uh, and you know, it, it delivers. We have this trick up our sleeves now which doesn't cost a lot. Sky panel lights are LEDs that can deliver a full spectrum of colour and that's a really great option to have up your sleeves. So if you'll see sequences there where we create a garden in a corridor uh, while we're using deep green light from above and uh, Benny Dugard who's my gaffer is in there feeding coloured lights in, in gels wherever he can. It used to cost a lot of money to do colour, go back 10 years ago, but now it's a go-to number one trick these days. As a style, we chose uh, to be physically closer to the actors, a bit more so than you might normally. Just to add to that, to that level of intimacy, particularly as it, it, was, it seemed to be important to make it you know, subtly obvious which character we were now seeing the world through. We, we change our point of view a number of times through the, the series and it seemed to be the right thing to do, to just be a little bit closer than you might normally with a lens, but not, not in here so much as sort of, you know, still like a 40 mil, but be this far, be this far away, not the other side of the room, which we might have done for, you know, for a classic drama. Why don't you give mindfulness and depression meditation a go? Starts in 10 minutes. There are quite a number of scenes in, in Wakefield that involve projections of pre-recorded material onto foliage, into a, uh, a rock wall at one stage, and then we run characters through that. And was try we were trying to show disassociation and, and states of anxiety. In this case, a, you know, a woman who's, who's had a, a child and feels that she can't quite cope with the responsibility of it, and that whenever the child screams, she sort of feels like she's just being attacked and all, all that she's gonna disappear into the scream. It seemed to work really well. I mean, it's, it's got a, a fractured, unusual style to it, it's, but it does, without a doubt, give you that sense of disassociation or it's dreamlike, but, sh but it's not you know, misty or through you know, um, a wavy glass or anything. It's, it's a little bit more arresting and immediate than that. I can't get it out of my head. I think that the experience for any viewer would be one of very intimately uh, entering into the world of someone who's, you know, uh, battling psychosis or, um, uh, or depression and empathising, you know, seeing it, experiencing it, feeling for that person. And if we come away from the show with a deeper understanding of mental illness, I think that uh, we've done our job.